What's up, y'all? This is the Art Mentor. Welcome back to another Art Talk. So let me ask you a question. Are you on the fence about being an art teacher? Have you maybe considered this or have you maybe been dissuaded from pursuing this? Well, then today's topic is gonna be really relevant for you. So welcome to Art Talk number 11. Today's topic comes from one of my loyal subscribers, Lucky Veda. Hey, thanks so much for being a loyal subscriber. I appreciate you so much. So Veda wanted to know all about why I decided to be an art teacher and why this is a good profession. And hey, that's a great question because to be honest with you, uh, this is a field of art that I really think is heavily ignored and neglected and people sometimes even look down upon it. So I really want to just open up and just be a very open book about, you know, why this is a really great profession. So here we go, y'all. Let me talk to you about the 10 best reasons for you to go into the field of being an art educator. Here we go. First thing I wanna tell you about being an art educator is that it is absolutely not a field just for washed up artists. I feel like this is a really bad stereotype that we get. And you probably heard the expression that those who do do and those who don't teach, and that is absolute crap. I just wanna throw that one out there. First off today, because if you are going to enter the field of education and you're gonna impact young people and you're gonna be dealing with hundreds and thousands of students over the course of your lifetime, this is absolutely a poor mindset. Um, I will tell you that the best art educators that I have ever personally known, they are continuing and practicing artists and they did not just enter this field because they felt like they couldn't get their foot in the door of something else. This is absolutely a real art job. So number two, Segue in from number one, this is a legit art job, okay? So a lot of times people look down upon art educators or art teachers or they, they stray away from the field or the potential aspect of being an art teacher strictly because they feel like it's not a real art job. Let me tell you, it absolutely is. 100%, 100,000%, this is a real art job because you're literally using your skills that you've honed, that you've cultivated, that you've grown over your years, and you are using that every single day and giving that to somebody else. You're teaching them how to be a better artist and you're using your skills very directly. You're using those skills to your benefit and making money off of it every single day. That's like one of the best parts here. It's literally a rewarding process. So number three, you are gonna be able to directly and very meaningfully positively impact the lives of young artists. So people just like yourself or people that you may have seen in your educational experiences, good or bad, however it was, but you have the potential to be the reason why somebody wakes up and comes to school. You can definitely have the ability to be a very positive role model in the lives of young people, which let me just tell you from personal experience, like this is a really rewarding and meaningful part of our job as our teachers is that we get to be a positive force in their lives. It's awesome. So number four, you get to be the influence in the artistic development of your students that you may have wished that you had or that you already had. Myself personally, growing up, um, I never really had any art teachers that I personally looked up to until I was in college and I had some really outstanding professors that I looked at them as mentors. So when I graduated college and I continued my self-education of art, I started to look at and examine the gaps. Meaning, you know, what, did, what do I wish I had learned in that time? So you can have the ability to influence young artists, help them hone the skills and abilities, help to foster their development in a way that you wish you had been. So maybe just like me, you never learned certain skills that were really instrumental in your current state as an artist. Or maybe you had a bad art teacher, you know, and they really put you down and they never made you feel good about it or they never praised you or they just never taught you how to think like an artist. You have that ability as an art teacher yourself in order to pass that positive influence, all right? And for me personally, like that, that's one of the number one aspects that I love about my job is that I get to teach students things that really high level artists know and I get to help them just really level up in the way that I wish that somebody had done for me. So number five, you get to bring your personality and your individuality into your classroom every single day. So what that means is that you get to revolve what you teach around 
things that you actually like to do. Isn't that awesome? So like me personally, I love concept art. I love illustration. I love character design. So I get to bring a lot of that into my classroom. And also like, for example, I'm, a lot of our teachers really shy away. And in fact, more than shy away, they loathe anime and manga styles. For me personally, I love it. So if I get a student that's really into that stuff, you know, we can sit down and we can talk about it. And that's a really fun way to engage your students. And it's also a really great way for you to build rapport and to build relationships with them. So you get to bring that into it and you get to help students basically learn and foster their personal interests. And you get to expose them to things that they might not really be very knowledgeable about or exposed to in the past. So it's a really awesome aspect of being an art teacher is you get to bring yourself into your classroom. So number six, you have a lot of creative freedom over your curriculum. And if you're thinking about being a teacher and you're sort of shying away from the aspect of potentially being handed a curriculum and being told you have to teach this exactly like this in art, that's absolutely not how it is. So for example, if you take a look at the national standards of art, they're really very vague. And it's meant that to be that way because you're supposed to interpret them as an art teacher so that you can, again, inject your personality and inject your personal interest and inject new and trending topics into your classroom setting. So you will never, and this is a very rare occurrence I've ever heard of. In fact, I've never really heard of it. I've never, in my 10 years of teaching art, I've never been handed a curriculum and been told, you have to teach it exactly like this. That's usually not the case. That'd be very odd. In fact, if you experience that, you should probably stick it out for that year and then bolt <laughs> because it's not a really good place that fosters an appreciation of the arts. But overall, you got a lot of freedom and control over it. So again, you get to center around things that you like and your focuses and your interests, things that you think students would like and things that you would definitely enjoy teaching. So number seven is that you get to have a lot of stability in being an art teacher too. You get regular paychecks, you get benefits, you get your time off from work too. And assuming that you don't screw up really, really badly, then you get to keep your job for a long period of time. I know many art teachers that have been teaching for 30 plus years and they love it and they love every single day of it. And that could be you too. And you don't have to worry about going from contract to contract or hoping that you sell so much on Etsy and then you get so much off your Patreon to, to pay the bills. You don't have to worry about this if you're gonna be in the field of art. And now if you're listening to this and you're like, oh, but they could cut from my department, they could cut from my school and I might not be able to come back or they might cut me. Let me tell you, friends, that's every job. You can be in a super high paying job. You could be making $300,000 a year in the finance industry. Um, and then all of a sudden, boom, you know, a little thing like COVID comes around and you get cut. So that could happen anyways. So don't let that steer you away from the field of teaching and especially teaching art, because again, that's every job field. That's every business in America. It's nothing special to education. So number eight has to deal with the fact that you're going to have a decent amount of time for some side hustling. So if you're ever a little on the fence about the overall pay scale of being an art teacher, I've known many educators and especially art teachers that have their own side hustles on the side. So if you think that for some reason, you're just gonna have to give up everything that you're personally interested in, you're gonna have a decent amount of time to invest into establishing other streams of revenue for yourself. So as teachers, we have summers off, we get a lot of holidays. That's what I mean as far as extra time. Now, if you're thinking about, you know, you're gonna have a lot of time, like during in class while students are working, you're not really being an effective art teacher. You need to be focused up on them. But outside of this, you have a lot of time, you know? So if you have your priorities in order while you're teaching art, then you're gonna be able to establish more streams of revenue for yourself and work on your personal projects as well. So number nine is that you're gonna have a lot of time too to develop and continue to work on your own personal art. That's a really great thing because, and I'm gonna tell you one of the number one reasons why if you're considering being an art teacher, you need to focus up on this too because the more effective as an artist you are, the more effective of a teacher you will be. And that's a guarantee. So students are gonna be able to pick up on the fact that you know you love to make art or you don't make art. And it's actually gonna really impress them and attract them to you as a teacher, as an educator, so that they'll wanna to continue to take your classes and they'll be interested and they'll be engaged in what you're trying to teach them and they'll understand why the things that you say are important. And myself personally, you know, I've been 
a regularly commissioned artist. I do concept art, I do illustration. Overall, I've been a commissioned artist for the last seven years, and that's on top of my regular teaching schedule. And because of the fact that I'm a 10 year vet of teaching art at the high school level, then I really know how to make sure that I can structure in, I can prioritize myself making artwork, and I can again bring in that side hustle business on the side. So you can too. And lastly, number 10. Number 10 is actually a really big one. I could have put this one up more, but I chose not to. I chose to save this in the end. It has to do with the overall salary. Teaching has good pay and benefits, ladies and gentlemen, all right? So basically, a lot of people shy away from it because they think that they're gonna be broke, poor, living out of a cardboard box, and that's absolutely not the case, okay? Teaching, and this is gonna differ a little bit depending on what state you're in, specifically talking about the United States here, by the way. If anyone's watching, watching internationally, it might be a little different for y'all. But overall, you will have access to a lot of good pay and benefits, okay? It's pretty competitive. I'm not saying you're gonna be able to start off making six figures, but you're definitely gonna be able to afford your lifestyle. Now, the one thing that you are gonna have to balance a little bit is the fact that you do need formal education and training in order to enter this field. But I mean, to be honest, it's never been a horrible struggle for me. And same thing for a lot of our teachers. As long as you don't go to a stupidly ridiculous school, it's like $100,000 a year, you know, you're gonna be able to be pretty comfortable if you structure your lifestyle right and you live within your means, that's it. Teaching art is a really amazing, wonderful profession. It's for really passionate people. It's for great artists like you that are thinking about getting into the field and making a really big difference, positive impacting the lives of some young artists, just like yourself. So if you're a passionate artist, don't steer away from teaching art because it's a really awesome profession and you get to make a really big difference in the lives of a lot of artists. So many people go through their lives feeling totally unfulfilled. I'm gonna tell you this, that if you really love art and you're passionate about this and you think you could do this, then this is something that you should absolutely go for because you will feel so fulfilled, you will feel so great about your day and you'll be excited to go to work. And isn't that awesome? How many miserable people do you know of right now? How many people can you think of right now that hate their job? And if you really love art and you wanna pursue this, this could be the field for you. So thanks so much for watching this, y'all. Hey, if you have any other questions about being an art teacher, go ahead, drop it in the comments. I'd be happy to answer it for you or reach out to me on social media. Thanks so much for watching this, y'all. This has been The Art Mentor. See you next time.